I'm just putting this video together to show you how to import assets from the Unity Asset Store. So if you're using uh, Unity version 2020 or above, uh, you will notice that you can no longer um, go to the window Asset Store tab. It just won't work. Okay, the reason why from 2020.1 onwards, they've replaced it with uh, the package manager. So you'll actually use uh, the package manager in um, coordination with the website okay so I'm going to show you how to do that uh, first of all just make sure you go to edit and you're signed in so make sure that's grayed out and then from window and package manager this is pretty much where you do all of your work when you're importing items so I'm just letting it refresh so we've got a number of different options in our drop down we have the unity registry this is where you've got all of your inbuilt packages that you can then select we've then got anything that's actually in your project at the moment it'll show you all those uh, then there's the built-in okay once again these are these are certain packages that you can uh, use as you can see they've all got green ticks so that means they're all being used and then finally, you've got the My Assets. My Assets are basically anything that you've saved into your favorites from the website that you can then download. So these are items that I've imported from the website. If it's got like a little uh, icon like this, an arrow pointing at a line, it basically means you need to download that. It's not yet installed, uh, but you've you've saved it into your favorites. Okay, uh, so what, what you could do on, on the internet on the asset store make sure that you're logged in very important okay and then let's say that i want to download maybe some books so if i click on hq old books uh, you'll see where it says add to my assets as soon as i do that i accept the agreement that will then be added to my favorites now from here i can actually either go to my assets or open in unity if i open in unity Ah, it's trying to basically reopen Unity. Okay, uh, most of the time you can actually open it directly in Unity, but for some reason it, it tries to open an entirely new version for me, uh, which I don't want. So what I can do, because I've now added that, I can actually now do a search for HQ Old Books. Um, oh, didn't do that for some reason. HQ old books there it is okay and then from there i can then download and import okay so that's how you will actually get that um so that'll be important for like your standard assets flooded grounds packs whatever whatever you're using uh, in the courses um if you're wanting to use something like terrain tools you'll actually notice that you can't find terrain tools in unity 2021 1.5 okay uh, so I'm just going to quickly show you how you can actually import those so in the in the help on the unity manual just open this um, where we've got our unity manual switching between unity versions in the documentation we're gonna come down to where we've got this little red link all currently published versions of the documentation just click on this and then I can actually choose different versions now from my drop down. And I'm going to choose 2020.1 um, since I know that Terrain Tools was available in this version. So now under my packages, I can go to preview packages. And from here, I can select any of these packages. So any package that is not available, let's say in 2020 sorry, 2021.5, uh, you can still go to earlier versions and you can still install these packages, one of which is Terrain Tools. So what I would do is I would copy this link, just do a Control and C. And by the way, this, this is your documentation that tells you how to use this. Um, back in uh, Unity, I would then go to Window, Package Manager, and I would click this plus, Add Package by Name, and in that slot, Control and V, okay, and then that would allow me then to add that package. And you can do that with any any of the older packages if they're not available in, in a later version. And then just click Add. Now oh, I've already got that. Be careful that there's no spaces, okay. If you've got a space, let's say, and I try and add it, I'm going to get a red error 
because I've got that space. Uh, so just be careful about that. There's no extra spaces there. If I click add now, that will then add it, but I've already got it. Now you might find that even when you do that, um, you don't see uh, this. That's because any kind of preview packages are considered experimental packages. So if I go to my Unity registry, where I've got my terrain tools, it's showing as EXP, experimental. So what I have to do there is in my cog or settings, click advanced project settings, and ensure that enable pre-release packages is checked. Only then will I actually show these experimental packages. Got another one as well, an XR interaction toolkit. Okay, and then from there, you can then download the asset samples from the asset store in exactly the same way that will take you here. Just ensure that you're logged in. So I'm not currently logged in. Add to your assets and then obviously open that um, in the package manager and, and install everything. Okay, so hopefully that gets you up and running inside of newer versions of Unity so that you can follow along with the courses.